Today we're gonna be making fun of somebody because they're an awful piece of trash. They don't deserve anything on this earth. When you think you've seen it all on Twitter and on YouTube, there's just something that you come across on your feed and you just think to yourself, why? What in the right mind makes somebody think this way and decides to talk about it as if they're not gonna get any sort of hate, reasonable hate mind you, or backlash or whatnot. I'm sure some of you guys saw the community post I made earlier. There is a YouTuber that has a video called coming out of the closet or whatever. And then right there, about the three minute mark, I took a screenshot. They come out as what is called a zoo file. For those of y'all that don't know what that is, um, let me think of a good place. Urban Dictionary might have a good definition. Look right here. Anyone who has a sexual romantic attraction towards non-human animals, specifically that which leads into the act of bestiality. To put it simply, the person you're about to see in the upcoming clip, they admit to wanting a fucking animal. And I want to clear the air and say that, for the record, I am a zoophile. You did not mishear that. I am a zoophile. I do not have a thing for humans. I am more attracted to dogs like German Shepherds. If you are willing to stay and listen to my view and explanation. What a low life piece of shit. This person is like coming out of the closet. Oh yeah, you know, I like to fuck animals. You know, I'm attracted to German shepherds more than I am to humans. What a sick piece of shit. Motherfuckers acting like, oh, you know, I'm going to talk in a really low and serious voice so that, you know, this is serious to me, guys. You know, I'm coming. You guys should support me. I'm coming out of the closet, guys. This is a big deal. I am coming out as a zoophile to like 150,000 people on the internet. I'm going to turn off the like and dislikes because I know everybody's going to hate me. Oh, but they just don't understand me. You know what I mean? Oh my God. I can't, dude, I cannot believe somebody is like, they thought to themselves, yeah, I'm going to make this video. I'm gonna make this 36 minute video about why I like to fuck dogs. This is insane. Even while I'm speaking to you guys right now, I still cannot wrap my head around it. They recorded this. They thought to themselves, you know, I really need to make a video for my 1,000 or so fans about why I like to fuck dogs. They recorded it. They saw the video. I'm sure they looked over it a little bit just to see if everything was correct the way they wanted it to come out. And then they posted it on YouTube like they're not expecting any hate. It don't get any better from here on out. They, they compare. You know what? They compare coming out as a dog fucker to like... Like the 1960s and how people were segregated and how gay people were hated on back then they were killed back then this person is comparing coming out as a dog fucker to how gay people were treated in the 1960s and i ain't bullshitting y'all y'all <laughs> just see this and it's a lot like when homosexuals were coming out in the 1960s during stonewall and those sorts of events and I know that 99% of my viewers, my community, you don't have anything wrong with homosexuals or gay people. You support them, you support LGBT, nothing against them. But I guarantee that many of you, even if you can't imagine it now, if you were growing up in the 1960s and were being fed all of the news and social propaganda about how gay people should stay in the closet, how it's unnatural and against nature, and all sorts of crazy shit like that, a lot of you would probably be anti-gay, anti-LGBT, and that's just how it is. I didn't even catch it until I saw the clip right now. They literally told their viewers, yeah, you know, you guys would be easily influenced back in the 1960s, you know, with all the anti-gay stuff that was going on. They straight are trying to alienate themselves from their viewers. Bruh, like, it's like they know what they're getting themselves into. They're just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna say whatever to defend my dog fucking ways. It's so sad, man. It is so sad. But you know what? I'm not gonna let no one make a video like this. I know there's other videos out there like this one already. And you know what? That's good because this person does not deserve any internet fame all they deserve is a bunch of hate coming their way a bunch of mean people saying mean things a bunch of trolls a bunch of haters oh man all these haters are probably going after him right now because they admit to wanting to fuck a dog 
Like, I know I usually keep it kind of chill in my videos. I don't like to cuss a lot in my videos, but this pisses me off because this person had the audacity. They went through steps to make this video. They first got on VR chat. They first probably wrote down or had an idea going on in their head. Okay, what exactly should I say? They recorded it. I'm sure they saw over parts of the video to make sure they got their points across. And then they posted it to YouTube. No, they uploaded it. Then they made it go live. There's even a little more step right there. All of that because they think they're in the right for oh you know what well, like um uh zoo files you know like they just love animals you know like uh, they're just not not -uh, bro you're sick in the head go get help man this shit pissed me off i am so sorry if i'm going like too far into this but i hate people like this man it's simple for me man if i see somebody try to defend why they want a fucking animal i'm gonna go in on them because they don't deserve to be they don't deserve the good graces of human niceness yeah, that's i'm not trying to get you know straight up delete off of youtube right now but you know what i'm trying to say the rest of the video is just them trying to justify their dog fucking ways with a bunch of made up bullshit rules about how a dog can sit it's so sick to listen to it's awful don't watch the whole video if you're gonna watch the whole video to be less biased or whatever you know what go ahead be my guest watch the whole video i saw it and i was just disgusted by the entire thing they even made another video called a message to my haters or some bullshit and it's only six i'm just gonna play it for you guys hypnotist dog fucker has joined your lobby Likes and dislikes turned off on this one as well. You know what, this person, their name is Hypnotist Sappho. Remember that name, go to their channel. I'm sure they're breaking a couple rules on YouTube right now. I have no idea, but we all know what to do to channels that break the rules on YouTube. The videos that still have likes and dislikes on are getting ratioed to hell. Those percentage signs show the like to dislike percentage. Let's just say that the likes on these videos aren't exactly in a very good spot. Low key, I hope this person keeps making videos poking fun at all the people hating on them because this video right now I was about at 200,000 views just a day ago. It was a little over 100,000. So you know what? If this keeps going up, more and more people are going to learn about this person. And that's just better for everybody else here. Because no one's going to want to affiliate themselves with somebody who admits to wanting a fucking animal. If they make another video talking bad about their haters, oh, you guys are just awful people for hating on me for who I am. You know what? I finna make another video. Because this right here is fun to me. It's fun to talk about shitty people like this person because I like to see their downfall when they're an awful human being and they don't want to get the help that they desperately need. Goodbye, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna keep making fun of this person if they keep making videos, let me tell you that. This train is just starting.